Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for not letting my parents visit me, after they sent me to a military boarding school in Turkmenistan? I grew up in Chelyabinsk, Russia, a fairly decent-sized city in central Russia, kind of close to Kazakhstan. My parents were in charge of some local mining operations and this were fairly well off. I admit, I was a bit of an ish head as a middle schooler slash teen, I did ease, drank excessively, graffitied, and other stuff. I did get arrested a couple times. My parents then decided to send me to a military boarding school in Turkmenistan, like what the fy? I begged them not to, I promised I'll change, I asked for a therapist, boarding school in Russia or a western country, just not there. They said I needed to learn the hard way. Really, I think they just wanted me gone. My dad and I flew to Ashgabat when I was 15. I just assumed school would be in Russian, everyone speaks Russian in Turkmenistan. Nope, turns out my school was in Turkmen, freaking great. First year was hell, I didn't understand the teachers, thankfully most students were nice and helped me out. After a year, I eventually spoke proficient Turkmen. My grades rose. My parents called or emailed like once a month, they usually ignored me. They visited once a year, or I went back. At this point, my parents were dead to me. My first summer they didn't even let me come back to Russia, so I had to work and provide for myself in Mary, city in Turkmenistan, not a girl, which is where I met the love of my life, Ogil Jarek. She visited me and snuck into my school all the time. She's amazing. Her family took care of me too, I consider them to be my parents more than my biological ones. I didn't see my parents for another 1.5 years, until graduation which they did visit. At this point I really didn't give a crap about them. They seemed all excited to see me and bring me back to Russia, I told them no, I'm not going back with them to Russia, I'm going to the Turkmen military academy. They were freaking pissed, saying I'm Russian and their son, I told them they abandoned me, so I'm abandoning them. Years later I'm a colonel, not sure the equivalent or translation, and I fly a Sukhoi 25. My job is awesome. My parents are begging me to visit them or have my wife visit, I've always told them to piss off. They're toxic AF and just want to brag about me. I'm not joking, they brag about my accomplishments on VK, Russian Facebook equivalent. My sister and other family are trying to mediate but I'm not interested, I visited and kept in contact with them. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. There is a surprising number of rich guys who want to have children for the looks but still act like a single couple. They inevitably become deadbeats, if not abusive, and simultaneously controlling and negligent. You were lucky to be left alone, and the fact that they didn't even ask or cared about your wishes and just assumed you would go back to Russia, shows they neither know you, or care about you more than as a projection of themselves. If they act really respectful, maybe you show the same minimal interest they showed you while in Turkmenistan. Yep this. I feel OP was probably left alone a lot before military school too. That's how he got in so much trouble. Probably. Most kids just want to be around people who love them and want to be near them as well. My SO was concerned that our kids would turn out like I was, when they hit their teenage years. Nope. Give a crap, value their input and feelings, and provide mutual respect, and the kids will even clean the kitchen unprompted. Not often but sometimes it does happen. Not the a-hole. I agree with your assessment that your parents need to do something about your behavior, but shipping you off to a boarding school in a foreign country where you didn't speak the language, and then barely visiting and not letting you come home for the summer, was cruel. I completely understand why you wouldn't want them in your life. Not the a-hole. Also, like, the kid asked for a therapist. That's really mature for a 15-year-old, and it sounds like his parents were also a big part of the reason that he acted out if they were always this cruel and emotionally unavailable. You can't be a crap parent and then blame your kid when they act out because they never had proper guidance, and had to try to figure everything out on their own. And even then, this kid sounds incredibly mature to say at 15, hey, I need a therapist. And then to send your begging, lost child to a harsh military boarding school in a foreign country with a language they don't speak. That's not teaching or disciplining, or even punishing in any way that could be construed as helpful by any stretch of the imagination. Also disclaimer, I don't believe in punishment at all. I believe in discipline. But even for punishment, this was harsh. This was vindictive and cruel, and horrid and childish behavior on the part of people who are supposed to be parents, and when OP flourished against all the odds set against him, and found his family of choice that helped him along the way, they tried to claim credit for his success. Fork that noise OP, and go live your best life. 
Not the a-hole. It sounds like you have done really well for yourself when you could have gone down a bad path. Congratulations on your school graduation and your career. If there is a time in the future, you're ready to rebuild the relationship with your parents, approach it then. If that's not now, or ever, they need to respect that. It's funny that his parents' actions were directly responsible for him turning his life around. Because he went to Turkmen military school, he's now a colonel in the Turkmenistan Air Force. Now for the second story. Am I the a-hole for telling my brother that his own choices about our half-sister got him disinherited? I have three full siblings, and a half-sibling. I'm the youngest, 20, a middle brother, 21, and an older brother, 25. When my mom was five months pregnant with me, she found out that my father was having an affair with a married co-worker who was eight months pregnant. It was revealed that the married co-worker's baby was my father's. She divorced my dad. My dad was a deadbeat. Mom was awesome growing up. Brother decided to have a 19th birthday party at my mom's house. Mom and I came home, and a girl was there. I realized that it was my half-sister. I was shocked, I had never really had any contact with this girl because we lived in different cities, and to be honest I never had the desire to have a relationship with a stranger, just because we had the same sperm donor. Eldest brother agrees with me. She tried to give me a hug, but I pushed her off me, and told her not to touch me. My mom, on the other hand, lost her crap. She asked him what the hell she was doing here, and how dare he bring her into the house. My brother said that he just wanted to introduce her to us and they had been in contact for the past six months, and he looked my way for help. I looked away. He took her home and we sat down for a family meeting. My mother essentially told James, that him having contact with our half-sister felt like a stab in the back, and that the sight of that girl brought out all the ugly feelings that she had pushed down years earlier. After noticing that nobody but himself wanted contact with her, he told us he wasn't going to have contact with her. I thought that was that, and life continued as normal. My grandmother passed away, and left everything to my mother, who was her only living child. Mom drafted a will where she split that inheritance between us three equally. Three months ago, mother and older brother ran into my brother at Starbucks, with my half-sister. Turns out that middle brother had been letting her stay in the apartment that my mother pays for, and she had been there for the past four months. My mom said nothing at the time, but a couple days later she emailed us a copy of a new drafted will. She had split the inheritance between my eldest brother and I in half, and had left middle brother $25 and my grandfather's beater car. He lost his crap, came to the house and asked me how mom could do this to him. I instantly rebutted with a well, what the hell did you expect? And he called me a raging witch, and I told him he was an ungrateful a-hole, mom pays for your tuition and your bills and you decide to house the one person that she told you she has issues with? My mother hasn't stopped paying his tuition or kicked him out of the apartment, so it's not like she left him destitute. Added info. Him being disinherited wasn't even on the table at the time during the first conversation. My mom told him to keep her out of her house and out of her life, he said okay mom, I'll just stop talking to her, because I can see how much it distresses you. Nobody forced him, nobody brought it up, he did so himself. My mom wrote him out, because she found out he was housing her on her dime. And during the time that she was there, he was asking for extra money and my mom would just send it. When she found out, she secluded herself for a couple days and then sent the email. He lied to her face and used her money to house and feed her. I don't think she would have cared if he was using his own money, but my mom works her butt off to provide for us, and he turned around and used it on someone whom my mom can't stand. Now for the top comments before the little updates. Not the a-hole. She's entitled to give her money to whomever she pleases. Point blank. I don't think people realize how much pain the mother may be in. Sure, it technically isn't the half-sister's fault, but that doesn't mean the mother has to accept her. What I want to know, is why half-sister is living with the brother. Sure, the dad may be a deadbeat, but what about the other woman? Edit, I want to add that inheritance is a gift, not a right. My grandparents and I had a good relationship but I did not get any inheritance once they passed, as they felt it would have been better used differently. Doesn't mean they didn't love me any less. So, he told us that she didn't want to live with her mom and stepdad, and didn't have the funds to move out, so he moved her in. After that whole crap storm happened, he asked her to move out. As far as I know, she went back to live with her parents. Wow, that girl just wanted to know part of her family and you all threw her out like trash. She isn't responsible for her slash your father's actions and she shouldn't be punished for that. She didn't choose to come into the world this way. 
I think you're the a-hole for not trying to understand why your brother sought a relationship with your half-sister, same with your mom. Y'all could really do with finding some compassion. He is perfectly entitled to have a relationship with his stepsister, but he definitely doesn't have the right to forcefully insert her into his family's lives like he tried to do at his birthday party. And he especially doesn't have the right to house her in an apartment his mother is 100% paying for, when his mother explicitly told him she doesn't want anything to do with that girl. Brother is a colossal a-hole. Not the a-hole. Blood doesn't mean family. If middle bro wants to be in contact with her, that's his business, but he also needs to understand his mother's feelings about the half-sibling. He deliberately lied to you all about cutting contact and housed her in a place that your mother pays for, and hid it from her. Play stupid games you get stupid results. And now for the little update. Update, I asked my mom why she was so upset to the point of cutting him out, and she said I have two sons and one daughter, not two sons and two daughters, and he made me financially support her while hiding her. Yeah, I don't think my stance on this is going to change, thanks for the input reddit. Final update. This all happened 4 months ago. When my mom and eldest brother saw them at Starbucks, mom immediately walked out and went to her car. Eldest brother asked him about her, and middle brother has never been the one to do well under pressure and blew up and told him she's been staying at his house. They came home, mom went upstairs and virtually disappeared for a week. Eldest brother gave me the breakdown. Since the whole, will, ordeal, middle brother asked her to move back into her parents' house. No, her mother and stepdad weren't abusive. They just don't let her get crap faced in their house. And I know this because for the last 4 months, middle brother has been trying to rebuild the relationship he previously had with all of us. He lied to everyone about her, and would act suspicious as hell, now that I think about it. Always saying he was hungover and that's why I couldn't go visit him in his apartment. At this point, I don't care if he talks to her or not, I truly don't, and all I've ever said in this thread is that eldest brother and I won't. But if one day eldest brother decides he wants another sister, that's his business? As long as he doesn't try to bring her to my wedding or Thanksgiving at mom's, I don't give a damn. Regardless, I think middle brother is more interested in regaining his part of inheritance than in talking to her, so everyone painting him as a saint needs to realize this, he threw her out the moment he saw she was messing with his financials. And I know this, because I received an irate message from her on Instagram three days ago asking me why I hate her so much, to the point that James decided to drop her in favor of us. I told her, no one asked him to drop her, he did so because he wanted his part of inheritance back, and I didn't hate her, I just didn't want anything to do with her. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole, for telling my husband that I'll never invite his family again after he said I embarrassed him with my cooking? So, my, 35 female, husband's, 37 male, family recently moved to our town to live close to us and my brother-in-law, who got married a few months ago. My in-laws like to gather twice a month for dinner and they'd have me and my husband visit, three hour drive, once a month. My mother-in-law wouldn't accept any excuses, that I work and have kids to take care of. She always wants the family gathered at her house. Last week, while we were visiting their new house, my husband made me spend X money for a gift that he didn't help with. Also had me carry boxes to help them move stuff into their house while my brother-in-law's new wife sat on the couch and was served with coffee and sweets. He told them that he wanted to invite them over for dinner the next day, and he didn't even consult with me first, so I had to take the day off so I could prepare meals. I made the main dishes, appetizers, salad and pound cake. They arrived at 7pm, mother-in-law, brother-in-law's wife didn't move a finger, they were busy criticizing my table setting and giving advice. I put dinner on the table and my mother-in-law started asking, why I used X ingredient instead of X ingredient. Saying that she would have liked it. Then said that the salad was not necessary, because no one liked this type of salad. My husband just agreed with her telling me, why I didn't do it this way or that way. I was getting mad and lost my appetite. Mother-in-law said the pound cake was not complete and didn't look delicious. My husband told her that he wanted to get one from the bakery, but I didn't allow him. The cake stayed the same while they ate what brother-in-law's wife brought and flattered her. After they left. I told my husband that his mom was being rude and mean to me the whole time. That he should have stopped her instead of agreeing with her. He said that he didn't defend me, because I was in the wrong and what I cooked was not so great, and that I embarrassed him in front of his family after having them try my cooking for the first time. I got mad at him and told him I will no longer invite his family for dinners, and he didn't like that, since he told his mom that we will regularly invite them for dinner. 
he called me too sensitive, and that I should just focus on cooking what they like instead. He thinks I'm overreacting, but I'm so angry and feel like I've been insulted and disrespected in my own house. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. What good qualities does your husband have to balance out how terribly he treats you in relation to his family? I'd really be curious to hear a response to this question too. We read so many posts by people married to, or dating a-holes. Why stay? I saw someone say once, that a lot of the people posting here know they're in bad situations, but they feel they need permission in some way to get out. Seriously. It would be a long time before I cooked for him again. I'd never ever cook for the in-laws again. Not the a-hole. Yep, he can cook for his parents while you sit on the couch and criticize what he makes. And what kind of guests complain about what they are served anyway? How rude. Not the a-hole. Your husband and his family are way out of line. The fact that your husband just orders you around and expects you to comply several times in this story, is especially worrying. Yeah, I need to take care of cleaning and the kids, and he does help, but he thinks that I should do more house chores than him since he works. I too, work as much as he does, and I need time to rest. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. Turn the notification on to get updated on my latest posts. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.